Graham Gartland here at the Hellfire Club. Welcome to Clear the Head. Each week we'll be talking to a member of Shamrock Rovers Football Club, going for a walk through their life and their journey. I wasn't the easiest kid at that time. I was going through, uh, you know, difficulties. Me, me father had, had got cancer, he was sick. Like, are, you, are, you, are you doubting me because I play for Shamrock Rovers and not all of them? Yeah. You know? In Jack, you got some player in Jack when he, when he first came back. But they didn't. Like, a slap in the face, being in a dark place in, in Scotland, you know? I, I actually got me medical done and Mick was there. Yeah. You know, or you failed me. I basically failed me medical when I went there. And they wanted to sign me, they knew I had the issue. Um, they knew it would be sorted after an operation. Or something. Thanks for coming up, great to have you. Thanks, Paul. It's good to be here, seeing the other lads ones, they were very good, so <laughs> looking forward to it. Yeah, first time you've been up this sort of direction, is it? Yeah, I'm usually, I'm usually have to have a passport to come over this far, <laughs> but I wasn't playing for Rovers. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be up the, the only time you go this way is when you're in the flats. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice up here though, it is. It's the first time I've been up here, but it's, it's lovely, some view. Yeah, it's nice when you grow up. Um, you started out playing football very young. Like, but what teams were you with when you started out, and how did you end up just falling into football the way you did? Probably my brothers. They were um, they were pretty good. They were they were always in DDSL teams, and uh, especially my brother Stephen. Um, and my father was brilliant. Like he used to bring me along, and uh, Noel King's son played for the team as well. That's so, right, the curly head yeah, fella, yeah. yeah. So. Um, um, I used to just go and, and watch all the games and like from a from a very early age, you know, when I'd be playing football at half time, probably Brady's but I used to be up there, probably yeah. used to be up there as well. So like we'd we'd all just be there, we'd just play football and, yeah. and that was just the way it was and just growing up around town it's it's back then I don't know what it's it's obviously changing now with kids playing PlayStation so I wouldn't have got the money to have a PlayStation no, 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 like no, that yeah. when we were kids so it was a football, and you know, I remember me, me, me father um, bringing me in at the 2002 World Cup ball and thinking it was like, yeah. you know what I mean, a block of gold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're sleeping with it and all. And, it was always uh, the tangos for us. Yeah. You got a tango, yeah, and you'd put it, you'd be used yeah. to. Used to put in the microwave because yeah, uh, yeah, it yeah. put a bit of hot air in yeah. it, so it make it lighter, you know. Yeah, but, um, yeah, and that's that's just how I started, just playing, and started playing. Um, me, um, my mother used to, she used to do a um, community centre. So we used to play five sides in there all the time. My dad used to, uh, used to help out in there when he called me. Dad used to work down the country a lot. Right. Um, what did he work as? He's electrician. Was he? ESB, yeah. Um, so he used to work down the country a lot, doing all the, doing all the big power, yeah. whatever they're called. Um, so he used to help out then when, when on the Friday nights and Monday nights. And then I'd be, I'd be just playing five sides all the time and just with bigger, bigger kids and all my mates are all a bit older yeah. than me. So um, I was always the smallest, I always just get in, get stuck in. And it's that town really mentality when, when you're growing up that, you know, I mean, yeah. you want to show people how good you are. Yeah. Um, went up to St. Kevin's then, played in the mini leagues there. And I had an unbelievable manager, Joe Quinn. Um, he obviously done a, done really well with um, schoolboy teams, and he was great for me because you know he was my manager probably from six. I, I went up to the mini leagues, um, probably about five, four or five. That young, yeah. Yeah, my cousin was playing um, a year. He was playing in the sixes, so we went up with him, and I was just playing the year up with him. And then obviously my year came around, and and uh, uh, Joe ended up being my manager. And, but for me, it was brilliant. Like you know, when yeah. the club, uh, Saint Kevin's, they were um, they were they were outstanding with me when I was a kid. Um, because I was obviously going, I wasn't the easiest kid at that time. I was going through, uh, you know, difficulties. Me, me father had, had got cancer. He was sick. Right. Um, from, you know, probably from the time I was eight and a half, nine. You know, and. Uh, you acting Obviously, out, were you? Or you just were you worrying and stuff, or was it just just, uh, just not knowing at eight? Yeah, you, yeah. You don't understand, and you know, um, still, still this day, looking back, when you know you're a kid, you don't really no. understand what's coming, and you don't really 
you know, understand the, um, the pain that probably, you know, someone like your mother is probably going through, or your brother who's 21, or, you know, at, at that time, 19, 18, 19, um, 16 year old sister, so. And they're feeling, yeah, they're feeling the but they're feeling probably bad for you because yeah. they know, well, I've had 21 yeah. years from yeah, Jack's like, only going to get eight. Yeah, that's it. And like, my father wouldn't miss a game, you know what I yeah. mean? He'd be away in, in, um, in Blackpool watching me brother play and I'd have a, I'd have a game on the, on the Sunday morning, make sure he'd be on the fourth flight home yeah. to, to come and watch the game. So look, I, I take that with me now. And would he be your inspiration support. then? Yeah, of course. It's just that support that he, yeah. He gave me and, and um, you know, he always uh, he always believed that I, uh, I had a, a talent, never pushed me or anything, but I always believed I, uh, I had a talent and, and um, you know, I just went, when, when obviously he passed away, I, I, I wanted to, to try and, you know, make him proud and make the rest of my family proud because my me, me mother was, um, you know, had to do a lot, a lot of sacrifice and she was still grieving herself, so... Um, yeah, so a yeah, so. couple of things on that, Jack. Like, so obviously you said you you felt you wanted to do that for your father, and then all of a sudden the chance to go away. I think you end up going away young. Was yeah. so was that? Was, this is probably a double question for you. Like, was there two reasons then? Because you thought, you know what, I want to financially look after my family. Yeah. You want to make your father proud as well, mm -hmm. but you also then have this thing of I need to get out of Ballybock a little bit yeah, as well. A little bit, like. From from the, the the thing was with me, um, when I was a kid, I was very good. I was a very good player. You know yeah. what I mean? It wasn't as if is he going away. It, it was, was when, where, yeah. where and when. Yeah. Um. So I knew he was going away. You know, and yeah. maybe that's why in skill or whatever, I wasn't really concentrating that much, or you know, maybe getting into a bit of trouble or whatever, because I knew I, I had a you know a a, a, a plan A that was was, yeah. was going to take anyways. You know. Um, it's hard that it in school though, isn't it? It wasn't uh, a one-year deal at Derby. Yeah. <laughs> my ETS contract that, uh, you know Crew. what I mean? That, yeah, where, wherever. It was like, it was Arsenal, Man City, Man United, Liverpool. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was, uh, it was the top the top clubs in England, like, you know? So, um, and um, that was it. I, 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 I kind of knew in the back of my head that, you know, I, 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 I had to go, I had to, I, the opportunity to financially, as you say, for yourself and for your family and for your future, you know, um, it's still good to turn down, yeah. but there was nothing here for me, you know, yeah. there was nothing here for me, uh, it, was, it, was, it was hard for, um, it was hard for my family more than, you know, it was tough for me going over there, of course it was tough for me, 14 years of age I was when I moved over, yeah. um, so it was tough, but I think it was tougher for my mother because, you know, she only just lost her husband um, three years before that, you know, yeah. so lost her husband, then lost her, 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 her baby, really, you know, yeah, I yeah. Not lost him, but I wasn't around. The house is empty then, me, it's she quiet. She wasn't bringing me training, she wasn't bringing me Ireland, Ireland trials and all that kind of stuff, do you know what I mean? Whole so routine is gone. Whole routine is gone as well, so I think it took a little bit of time for that to... You know, and then obviously when I'm ringing and I'm homesick or whatever, and you know, she's trying to tell, oh no, it's okay, but same time, they still miss you at home. They, yeah. You know what I mean? It she is. wants to help then as well, exactly. and she probably feels yeah. she can. So see, when see just before you left in Ballybock, then you obviously, like you said, school probably wasn't overly great. You might have had fallout with teachers over certain things, yeah. and I'm saying certain things to you that you're like, yeah. hold on a minute, like, I'm going to do something here, but... Yeah. I, I found it up growing up where I grew up in Jobstown. You, you get a lot of people wanting to pull you a certain direction and it takes yeah. a lot to go, do you know what? Like loads yeah. of times I've come on do this and then eventually you get to the point where you go, no, no, leave him. Yeah. He's grand, he, he plays football, he's yeah, gonna be grand, yeah, you know? Yeah. No, it's, I think I was quite, I was quite lucky where, uh, where I was from that I've had, I've probably had, you know, five, six really close mates that, you know, never really dabbled into into that side of things, and and um, you know, we we would have been really close growing up. So we kind of stuck together. Although we we went, but we would have our own group, and then you know, other other lads there, and you can see the path they're taking. See the kids nowadays. You know, it's uh, around that area. There's a there's a big problem. So is that? Um, 
Is there something you'd look to maybe go back and help with? Yeah, I would. I'd love to, you know. But it's it's how it's 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 how you do it, and it's you know uh, it's uh, it's 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 a, it's a really difficult one because I've, I've, I've I feel so close to the people in Ballybock and in where I'm from, but it's not only yeah. the problems there, you know. Yeah. You fix Ballybock, you still have Sheriff Street. You fix Sheriff Street, you still have somewhere hills or something around, you know what I mean? It's like, it needs to come together to yeah. try and help all, all teams, you know. We're just saying, because one of the reasons I got involved even with Rovers, I only had to play the year at Rovers, but I'm from. Yeah. From Tala, we had no football club. Yeah, like yeah, we had yeah. no team that was in the Premier Division in Tala. It's the biggest yeah. area. Yeah. One of the reasons when the, I was asked, "Would you come in?" I was like, "Yeah." yeah. Wanted to leave something to go look yeah. go up there, like you know. Yeah. And that's the thing when 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 we go to Target Park, I love going to Target Park because I used to go up there and watch shells. Yeah. The, the decent shells then when they were. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I do play it against them. Yeah. Joey and that Wes. Yeah, Wes, all them boys and. Wes was in a seat, wasn't he? Yeah, playing Deportivo and stuff like that. So. I used to love going up there. Yeah. I'm, the light, I'm buzzing there back there, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> you can play. Yeah, we, we just live across the valley. We, we are going to chip our half time. It's in the gap <laughs> 90 minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, it's... Uh, Don't tell it's, the new fella. Yeah. Owen. I'll tell Owen that. Tell you can cut that out. Yeah. Um, but, um, and then going to Man City then, that like obviously going that young. You're going over it like... Manchester, I know you built up a small, I've listened to a lot of stuff you spoke about, you built up a good community in Manchester, yeah, people yeah, that yeah, you knew, yeah. and was that a real, something that you took from maybe Ballybock, that you had that community there, that yeah. sense of, well, I, I, now I've moved that to Manchester, say. Do you know what, I've, I've been really lucky that I've, I don't know if it's because I'm, uh, I'm an outspoken uh, person, I'll have, a, I'll have a chat with people. Really, I, yeah. I was like this. <laughs> was like, you know, I was like this since I was oh, no. toward the end, yeah. like, you know what I mean? I'll be chatting to people like I was like I was twenty, like, you know? Yeah. So even people that work in the club and um you know, like Neil Roberts um gone to Swansea now and, and um you know like Brian Marwood or Fergal Hark and like to talk to them yeah, like yeah. when I was sixteen, like, you know, we still yeah. still chat away to them, we still have they still have great time, we have great time for them. You know, it's uh, it's 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 obviously hard when you go over there because you're you're going in like when I when I when I signed for Man City at fourteen, I got I got at fifteen, four fourteen. When I got fifteen, I still couldn't play for eight days. Like. So I was on a trial form basically for six seven weeks of the year where I could play. So you could use it in October, you could use it in January or whatever. Yeah. The rest of the time, Patrick Vieira was taking all the new signings that were that the club were after signing because it was the first year really, first first second year that they were after getting the money into the club. Yeah. But trying to promote it in um, Abu Dhabi and uh, Dubai. We spent like we, we had like four or four trips in Dubai. Fifteen. <laughs> yeah, like, you've you know? gone from you've gone from there. Like Twelve years ago now, and I, I've, I've gone back to Dubai all the time now, and. Every time I go back, I look out, go on my phone, I have a picture of me, uh, Marco Lopez, uh, Bear Sansalina, um, I think Jason De Nair is in, the, um, I don't know if Jason is in the picture, um, Pozo um, is in the picture, we signed him from Real Madrid for 3 million, Marco Lopez for 2.5 million from Benfica, at Olympia, because one of them playing guitar now, was in uh, La Liga last year. But like, we're standing in the middle of, of, of the Atlantis, right? <laughs> And I've got me, I've got me arms around the. Uh, we're only fourteen, like I've got yeah. my arms around these two girls. They've said, "Oh, can we get a picture with Man City?" Like you know, I've got my arms around them, and the whole squad's there like that. Yeah. We've got a picture. There's nothing in the background. You go back there now. It's like a different, <laughs> yeah. different country, like. You but know? Was that must have but been like, that moment that's of how lucky we yeah, like, you know, we've got to see all yeah. that stuff, like you know, and. But you, especially a year after from, going out with, like you yeah, said, exactly, like you more left. More to live from, from, from Bally Buck, but yeah. at the same time, like I love, I love going back. Yeah, there, like, you know I, mean? I always found the lads from yeah. town had that sense of, yeah. I need to, like I, I like being at home. I like it, and one of the things I said it, and I, I used to have it as well. You, you go back to your own area. They know you for who you are, yeah, yeah, not yeah. what you do. Yeah, yeah. So they'd be like, no, that's Graham. <laughs> such an, uh, yeah, that's, that's Jack's such fucking yeah, things, yeah. brother. That's you know, exactly it's not, you're not, yeah. they're not going, oh, that's the footballer. Yeah, no, like, 100%, yeah. They know you as the person, like, you know. That's what I like. Yeah. Uh, but 
it, like it's it's just uh, it's, it's the same as my, when I go back to Manchester now. I'm lucky enough because I have you know four six really good mates there where you know we'd call them like yeah like nearly family like you know. So when I finished up in Cyprus say in September, I went to Manchester for two months and I was doing um, I was doing a bit of uh, rehab with a fella over there for me back. I can come back to Ireland, like you yeah. know what I mean. I, I was I, I basically having Manchester, my house there, like yeah. no problem with Manchester. It's not as if yeah. when we talk about I want to come home here, it's because I want to come home to Ballybock or to you know it's not like that. It's yeah. like I want to come home here. It's for football, like you know. Yeah. And that's what I, I, I want. Would like people to know, like you're not just coming home here to put, try and put the feet up or whatever. You yeah. Could have stayed over there if if, if I wanted to quite comfortably, like yeah. But see, even like, see when you see that, and you obviously the even the boys change, and then you see the group of players you're with, and they've all gone. You obviously don't have any regrets about it in a, in a way that they're, they're great. That they've all gone on to different careers, and everybody's path goes a different way. Yeah. Was is there anything you look back and think, do you know what? Maybe that, or maybe this, that you might have changed. There's always certain things that you you might look back at and say, well, maybe if I didn't do that. Or you know, but at the same time, I've played with so many players. That's, yeah. I've been in so many dressing rooms. I've been in so many different countries, and I've seen so many unlucky people. Yeah. Do you know, I've seen like, like David Brooks was in my youth team. He got released from Man City because he he was his legs were like that so his, and his body was like that so his. Yeah. You know, and he was just dangly and just couldn't grow into his body. He went to Sheffield United, goes to Bournemouth, has an unbelievable career. You know what I mean? I've seen yeah. other kids that, you know, have been released or they just never grow into that body or they start getting an injury or a growth spurt and then their knees start flirting, you know? Like yeah. Next thing you know, it's a, it's cutthroat, like you're talking two, three years. You have a window, I always and, think. And that's it, like, think yeah. that, that window. If it wasn't for, like people say to me, if you didn't go to Man City, do you think you would have, you know, probably played for, I don't know, a Premier League club lower down, maybe got through there? And I said, yeah, well, maybe, like, you know, I said, but I wouldn't have played the U Champions League. I wouldn't have been travelling with Champions League yeah. every week, you know. Um, I wouldn't have got the chance to try and under Mancini, Pep, Manuel, uh, Pellegrino, Pellegrini, uh, Pellegrino uh, Mark Hughes, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I would never have got the chance to go to Holland because Fergal Harkin and um, Brian Marwood and Patrick Vieira sort of that That's right, really, yeah. And Chicky from uh, Barcelona had just come in so he they had the link where they just sent the player there the year before and done really well Alba Rusnak so like but you're trying to break in Jack and I, I, I had this conversation with Stephen right me and Stephen obviously grew up together yeah. Stephen went to Arsenal in 2000 I went to Barnsley yeah. I picked Barnsley a couple of other teams came in and I went no like yeah. I knew I play. I might play there. Yeah, I'm not. I, no, even yeah, just yeah, being yeah. not. That's not being yeah. no, well, detrimental yeah, myself. Yeah. But I was like, no, no. I, I could play there, and I really enjoyed when I went there. But Stephen in 2000. I came back in 2003. Ended up going up to Scotland and all that stuff. And I, I came back and I was talking to Stephen in 2004. He came back and I remember talking to him and he's like, Graham, I was trying to break into a team that went unbeaten. Yeah. Like you're trying to break into Man City where you like you said all the money is flooded in like I'm trying to break into a reserve team. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's better than I remember we we got beaten the FAU Cup and uh brought, I think uh Jason Wilcox is like there's manager now or the sporting director now. Yeah. He played with Steve McPhail, uh great fella. He was my under eight days manager. He came in, he said, um he was lost to two um two good players and nine bin men. That's what he said to us at the yeah. U Cup. We, beef, we got beat by Fulham 3 1. Do you know who the two good players were? Patrick Roberts and uh, Moussa Dembele. <laughs> <laughs> Dembele, he went, like, yeah. he went and signed <laughs> Patrick Roberts the year yeah. later. So he did for, I don't know how much. He, he went, went, on, went up to and Scotland then, yeah. The, the same thing against Schalke. I scored in the game against Schalke, your Champions League. Brandon Barker was brilliant on the left. Yeah. We ended up going to Rangers. Um, That's right, he was with Hibs as well. Yeah, they signed Leroy, uh, they signed Leroy Sane the week later. He played in the game. Yeah. Played in the game against us, like now here. Yeah, I'm not. Listen, he was a joke. Like, yeah. He was brilliant, but they, they just go and snap him. Game. Yeah. He scored in the burn about a week before. They just went and they went and got him. He was <laughs> playing against us. That was it. The rest is history. And you're thinking, right? Well, I'm doing alright here in this, but I'm actually. Like, Patrick said, I'm pulling me, and I have to go 
to Holland here for a year. Do you know what I mean? I'm going <laughs> down. <laughs> Brad says, that was a great one. He says, I was doing well one week. He thought it was great. He says, and then Fabregas walked in. Yeah, look, and he's like, ah, really stop, good. like, you know. But I have to say, we were very lucky. Yeah. We were, we were very lucky. We were... Like as kids there, we were well looked at. Yeah. Well looked after. And was a good education yeah, in football as well, because you couldn't like, have asked for anything else. See the way build, if you wanted to do courses, if you wanted to yeah. you know, we were all focused football, football, football. Yeah. To the dollars coming in all the time like this, you know what I mean? They're throwing new three year deals at you all the time and you think I'm happy. Every yeah. club's not like that, yeah, no no. Every every week's or something. Then you went to you went on now to Holland forced, was it? Then I went to Holland, yeah. And um that, 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 did that? Did you feel well, that? Yeah, I, hear, I know you done really well. Did that football suit you? Yeah, it suited me. Yeah, it suited me down to the ground. I was fearless. Though. I was young. Do you yeah. know what I mean, I never had a, never really had a setback at that stage. You know, so it was just. I've never known you to play any other way, yeah, even I now. Know, yeah, I think I just take that with me from, from when I was a kid. I think like, if I if I leave the safety latch on, like, cause I'm not gonna like run around, but I'm not gonna run around smashing people. Do you know no. what I mean? So if we leave the safety latch on, I don't show a little bit of something, a little bit of magic. He had me on the pitch for. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we need to bring that. But see, as somebody who who would do your running, yeah. I'd be like, I'll run for you yeah. if you give me something yeah, that, that magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you score two or yeah. set up two, yeah. Yeah. and you, and you don't want to maybe yeah, track, to, I'll take it. You need to take you know? that pressure, like, you know. I, that's yeah. why I spoke to Lee about having. Yeah. I, I said it in the the name of the t soldiers and artists, yeah, like yeah. where. But it's my job as a soldier to protect you, like. Yeah, and you need them in the team. You need a balance, like. Yeah. You, know? you need the balance in the team. You always felt you were the one that had to spark it, did you? I was always, I always felt like I was the, the, the go-to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll Basically, create something. I'll, I'll, I'll be the one to make something happen here. And I'd always, I, I think, I'd like to think I'd always have the balls to try and do it. You yeah. Know, even if I can't, even if it doesn't, if it doesn't happen, I'll always try. I'd have to die trying, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Go out swinging, as they say, yeah. yeah. So, um, but when I, when I went to Holland, like, we had 20, 20, 20 of me is out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it was like, it was just Pop City. Yeah. It was like, we, we played Ajax. <laughs> and 20 of me. Imagine the youngs trying to, imagine a ball each and training. I sent the half, so I like, I'm trying to nuts people in our own box and all. That's grand, me tell you. Oh, it was absolute carnage. But it was unbelievable for me. Yeah. Because they were just rolling me the ball everywhere. Yeah. And I was dropping into the six, but getting on the ball and spraying out wood. Scored against PSV. Man the match against Feyenoord. Got in the uh, team of the season over there. Was it not uh, something you would have said, do you know what, I want to stay here? Look, the thing was, I was on, I was on days of money yesterday. Yeah, and they didn't want to, yeah. You know, so it was, uh, like, what do you do? You're in, yeah. two years left of your day at City. Blackburn come in and say, we'll pay, our, we'll pay our wages. Not that City would have minded, but then I'm kind of thinking, well, these really want me here, you know what I mean? Yeah. These are gonna, they're going to take on, take take me on that shit. Like, I'm Coyle Ring, you're giving it the whole spell. <laughs> great fella, no. No, yeah, he's great at home, oh, but I know, I know. Give me the whole spell. Like, great chat, great chat, isn't he? Next Jack Wilcher and Daniel Sturge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> giving it all that. But, um, I know Owen, I was, yeah. I, but he's, I know what you're saying, I, yeah. yeah. But we didn't have a good crowd up there, like, you know what I mean? Obviously, we had a couple of lads that uh, messed around a bit, and uh, they're obviously not playing football anymore. A couple of them, great lads now, do you know what I mean? But it just wasn't what we needed at 20, you know? And I kind of maybe got a bit straight. You can't take a foot off the gas for a minute, and you just end up, like it was in, I was getting in Ireland training camps at 19. And That's right, yeah, I remember was, that. Uh, I was flying over there, I was playing week in, week out, felt great, felt fit, you know. And, uh, Championships are slog though, isn't it? I was playing, I was playing. Saturday, you know, Tuesdays, isn't it? He, he, he was saying, look, you're going to play, you're going you're gonna to play in the 10, we're going to um, we're gonna play two wingers, and I want you in the 10, and two fast wingers out wide, and then... Um, we're gonna get the ball into you and you just swear it over to them and, and we'll go and attack with Danny Graham up front. Yeah. Uh, and he stokes so he says, alright, oh, sounds this sounds brilliant. We got B4-1 off Norwich first game of the season. <laughs> start I didn't start. We came on in the game, played really well in the game. Um as a 10. Yeah. The next week I was playing midfield with Daryl Lenehan in the 4-4-2. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. it was like, no, no, we need results here, let's 4-4-2. Yeah. We got smoked like. Duffy was obviously having a bad time at the time. He liked to go man for man all over yeah. the pitch, didn't yeah, he, Coyley? and it was hard physical. Like, yeah, you know, it is, yeah. Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, and I didn't get a chance to get the grips with it, really. And it just, it just passed, do you know what I mean? It just, 
That was it then, it was like, bang, I'm at Wigan. Yeah. Bon Joyce gets sacked after um, after three games. I wasn't even fit to play for him. He signed, he signed me on a three and a half year deal. Cut me long short that back more. Went to Wigan, Warden Joyce. He was the Man United Reserve team manager. So he obviously knew me really well yeah. against United's reserves. And um, rang Boy Marble and said, Can we get Jack in? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Go and do the deal. Um, next thing you know, I think it was Luke. This the deal <laughs> happened the last day in uh, January. On the 26th of February, he was gone. Yeah. And I'm sitting there in a train and a half year deal, like, and I'm like, what do we do with that? Yeah. You know, and you don't know who comes in. He comes in and we're in League One then, we're relegated. And Nick Powell's playing in the ten and he doesn't want to leave. Brighton are after offering him, uh, offering four million for him at the time. And he didn't want to leave. And you were so thinking, come like, on, will you? What am I doing? And you would have looked around my well, cookie, did you? Yeah, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't. I think he just, he knew he needed a squad of players that he wanted, basically. And he needed to make room for the likes of Gary Robertson stuff that he wanted to bring in yeah. his mates. Sister yeah. manager at Ipswich, with yeah. now, like, well, obviously he's not at Ipswich anymore. But, um, you know, I have a cookie, like, I've heard a cookie, like, no problem. Yeah, no, I know. It is, it's like, at the end of the day, it's just. The amount of, and you, and you talk to people and you go, you're like, just things happen that you go, how did, how did, how did I end up here? Or how did this happen? Or how am I ending up in this situation? Well, no, well, no, and you're no. thinking, we should go back to Holland here, like just playing. You know, we're not, we're not bitter about all of it. No, it would never be the Apple Well stuff and, and, and all that and going over there. But you went, you went from Wigan to, oh, you went to Oldham then, didn't you? <laughs> see, I, I always find yeah, right, and I made a mistake going back to Oldham. We but see, have went back. But see this, Jack. Like I, I say this to people all the time. I remember I left even like Barnsley's Academy back in the team and went up to Scotland. Yeah. And like, where we got trained out, of, we got changed out of stadium. Yeah. Then you got in a van and you're going to a training ground and you're going and you go from this as a kid, like you said, all this stuff at Man City, and then you turn up at Oldham and you're going, getting changed out of the stadium, driving to a park and you're going, what's going on here? Like, you know, isn't that? There's a little bit of not in a spoiled way. Like when when Simon Carney was the chairman of that club, it was brilliant. We yeah, John, we had John Sheridan. John, yeah, yeah. Then we had Richie Wellens. Ah, yeah. oh, it, was, it was brilliant. Andy Gerard, Craig Davis, Alan Doyle, Keon Bruin, uh, Peter Clarkey. But it's a good dressing room. will go cover everything, doesn't it? It's like whatever was happening was happening. We weren't even training. Yeah. We, we hadn't even got a pitch to train on. <laughs> we were meeting. The, we were driving from the Trafford Centre. Yeah. Um, it was, because of the weather was bad. We were driving from the house now, so me down the ground because I only lived around the corner. Yeah. But we are driving to a five or in indoor. Yeah. In, in, <laughs> the big huge centres that yeah, they have, yeah. The JJB. Yeah, that's right. So we are going down five or so it's just to get the legs going. Yeah. And it's like, hang on a minute, we're like four, 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 ten, four, ten, leg one flying here. Yeah. Like, they've just, um, so then I kind of seen what way it was going and, and I was, was flirting with going to other clubs because it was only on loan there from Wigan. Yeah. And they weren't paying any of my wages. Um, because they couldn't, like you know what yeah. I mean. They were all in there. Oh, Simon Carney was looking to sell the club. That's right. Yeah. And Rich Ireland obviously uh, yeah. came in and bought the club. Well, Rich said he was rich. <laughs> <laughs> Fake Rich. Yeah, so it's like uh, <laughs> he said he was rich. <laughs> we believed him. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Oh, I've so seen a few of them. Two and a half year album, so it was already. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but yeah, he but Simon obviously wanted to bring us in, and then I remember. Uh, John Sheridan comes up to me. I did one training session, and I was at the bench um, training with the kids that weekend because Cookie was working with the squad. Yeah. And I think a couple of clubs came in. The child wanted me on loan. Then I got to London. There was uh, about him. It was like what's on training hard that weekend for a and then set there, you know. And then obviously all of them came in. So I think with four or five days left of the windows, we were buzzing them like yes, happy days. So um, just wanted to play. It sounds like yeah. Play. I wanted to get out. Wanted to play because I obviously had a nightmare the, the year yeah. before at Blackburn and Wigan with the with the obviously Blackburn the way it went, and then Wigan with Warden Joyce obviously. Mm. So um, so I went to I went to all of them and and. Um, I didn't try another I tell you, belt, this is a cracker. 
So we'll go in train and I ring Richie. I'm like, Richie, I'm like, uh, I'm at the, Richie well sends me a postcard. So I'm like, where are you still? So get in the car, drive up there. Pull up outside the stadium. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm at the stadium here. Like, yeah. you now we'll be training today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just walk in there, the side door, uh, down the stairs, and then the dressing room on the left. I'm thinking, oh, what's going on here? Yeah. The stadium, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, really sound now, but I go out onto the pitch. Pitch was actually already right at this stage. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. It's pre season. So it's like, right, we have like one field. It's like field. So it's like, right, just get the head down. They wanted to have a look at me for a week before I went in training because I think people were saying I was a madman or something. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So he says, yeah, go in and have a look. Uh, yeah, I said, no problem. I'll go in and train. Like, you know what I mean? I said, anyone who talks to me that doesn't know me can say, or talks about me that doesn't know me can say what they want. People Do you feel actually, sometimes you're judged like that? Uh, not really, but people that actually know me, I think. You know, know how, what kind of bloke I am. Hmm. Uh, but I've been like that since I was 12 years of age, people saying stuff about me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it is, it is what it is. Why is it in? We get in there and uh, John Sheridan, he says after um, after about 24 minutes in the training session, he says, listen, he says, uh, Jack. I goes, yep. He goes, yeah, start tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> he says, yeah. He says, I haven't even signed. Oh, what? He says, into the office. So he says, he's, I goes, what time is it? He says, you get in the office before 12 o'clock. I'm starting here tomorrow. We're playing Blackpool. Well, he says, what? They were losing the first four games. So we needed something. Like. So he goes, already right, sound. They said, no, but I'm in the office. I went there, blah, blah, blah. Get a phone call, trail, Graham. No, no, it can't be done. Boy. There's no money. <laughs> he says, what's going on here? So he had to pay a fee if we won a game and I played in the game. And that was the Old now for draws. Basically, like, <laughs> like, like, hoping that we not yeah. So um, oh. then the, the, the fella came in and uh, took over in the summer. But it was meeting Buddy Fry and at Peterborough and uh, like some stories about him. And, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I just didn't feel comfortable with you know moving out of Manchester at that stage yeah. like, you know family was coming over staying in the house they enjoyed it I loved them coming over yeah uh, like you said that little home from home down yeah in, down in Peterborough or whatever it would be so it was a uh, oh going back probably was a probably was a mistake like because obviously you got relegated and, yeah during that time, you you were uh, you said you were in around the Ireland squad, so you'd obviously been playing for Ireland probably from 15 all the way up, but then you got in around the Ireland squads. What was that like? Brilliant. And how were the coaches with you coming uh, in? Like great, great. I I felt as if you know I was doing I was doing well enough to be in in yeah. the squad. Like I was that confident when I was a kid. Like you know when I was, especially when I was playing against the likes of PSV, Ajax, FC Twenty, these kind of teams. Yeah. Like I was happy enough to say, yeah, I think it would be good enough to be in an Ireland squad, you know. But you would have played yeah. against all them, oh, like, yeah. like you said. That's it. They were, you were playing against these lads that were internationals yeah, and training, and you're able to go, yeah. I think Martin O'Neill was a bit funny about it in the in the papers. He said, I think he said, oh, I'll have to get Glenn Will to give him a kick tomorrow or something, because I said, uh, I said, um, you know, I said, like, uh, I, I, I feel as if I'm, it's not, I'm not fast track. I feel as if I'm. Yeah. able to be here and Irish people can be like that sometimes like you know what I mean so like you back yourself yeah. too much to go they here settle don't they yeah they just settle down but then they go I love his confidence exactly. then McGregor they loved McGregor for the start That's and now it. they're like yeah uh, I know and, the, and then um, but all I said was that I was playing against I think they had a they had a game against Holland the week the the month later I said well I'm playing against lads, them lads that are in that Dutch squad every week yeah. week, in, week in week out like you know yeah. so yeah uh, I said, I think I'd be be able to handle myself if, if I was called a bone, like, you know? Yeah. And that was it. But that's the thing, nothing wrong. The, the, I always find they then criticise you for going, does, does the lads coming through don't have enough confidence, they don't have enough about them. And then all of a sudden the lad come through that has that, and they're going, no, but settle now. But you know what I mean? Is, like, they'll even say, they'll ask you a question if you get called up, maybe, about, or what do you think about um, like a League of Ireland player being in the squad? Um, do you think you belong? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you think you're, you'd be able to adapt to this level? And you're half thinking, 
like, come on, like, you know what I mean? Just show, show a bit of respect. Yeah. Like a little bit of respect, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. What, what, do you, what, what way do you want me to answer that? Like, do you think I don't train? Do you think I don't take my football serious? Do you yeah. think I didn't move away when I was 14 years of age to pursue this for that moment? Do you, like, are you, are, you, are you doubting me because I play for Shamrock Rovers and not Oldham? Yeah. You know, like... Who has a, we have a better training ground. Do you know what and, I mean? Yeah, like, I, know. Uh, I know. Yeah. So, I think that's gone now a little bit, you know? Yeah, I, 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 I felt the yeah, I, yeah. And I hope it's gone. But um, you can never say for sure, really, can you? Like, you know, people still always say, oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's, only, it's only League of Ireland, you know? Just going back you to just that. Don't understand. See the See the thing I always found as well, you know, when someone describes, oh, he's a real street footballer. Yeah. And, and you describe yourself as a street footballer. Sometimes I get, I, I get annoyed about that. Because I think you're making out as if yeah. two things... He only plays when we have the ball, yeah. and he, then he doesn't care what happens. And you're like, yeah. I play like that, yeah. but yeah. the last thing when when you grew up when, when we grew up playing on the street, and I'm not a street, I wasn't. I played on the street, but I wasn't. I wouldn't be described as a street footballer. It's like yeah, but you still cared if you won or lost on the street yeah. more because you were like your brothers are playing on the other team or something yeah, like there was yeah. they were more competitive like exactly. yeah 100 do you feel that sometimes when yeah, somebody yeah. describes you as a street footballer a it's a compliment but it's also like where's used to get it all the time and thinking yeah. where's works as hard as anybody uh, on his technique yeah. yeah do you know what i mean like you work on your awareness yeah. you work on your them abilities to play in tight spaces yeah, do you find that as well a little bit i do a little bit but you know i don't mind once people are talking about just saying you know Street, street football in the way you duck the inside and put that ball in the top corner if that's the way they want to describe it sometimes it's just lazy journalism isn't it really like yeah. a lot of the words that get thrown, thrown about but you know we think the the media here are, are good like you know I mean I think they care about the league I think yeah I found I think, that as well uh, I think they have a good insight on on the players here yeah um, you know the young ones coming through now more so than they would have um, like we met that McDonald in, in Oldham when he came over. Um, I couldn't believe the state of the place. Like, you know? Yeah. Um, it's amazing, honestly. I don't, I don't think people understand that. Yeah. Even, and I, I, I'm very proud of being one of the ones that helped build it up. I don't think people realise how, like you said, the, what the academy is now and yeah. how good it is and the facilities you have. And now with the new gym and all yeah, gone in, 100%. it's gone like, I only wish it was there. 20 years ago, but it, yeah. it's a lot better than what is yeah. over there in the UK a little uh, 100%, bit. 100%, yeah, but it's... But it needs to be more. It needs to be everyone, yeah. you know. Correct. It can't just be... A one-off, yeah. Grovers, it can't just be... That's not to say, because we have Roadstone and we have a good academy and we have... Um, we, we do things probably... Like, m- m- most of the teams do, do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Um, they might not have the facilities that we have or whatever. It's not to say we're going to win the league every year. No. Or it's not to say, oh, it's a God, a God given. It's not guaranteed, yeah. League because they they do this and they and they do that. Like it's not. It's just about putting something in place for Irish kids. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that's it. Something the next that one. wasn't there for me when I was coming through. You know, there wasn't no roads down. There wasn't no. no. There was St. Kevin's. It was brilliant. Like I loved it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But if we finished, if we didn't go to England. We finished at St. Kevin's when I was 16. I wouldn't be playing football now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's the harsh, that's, that's the reality of it. That was my reality. So yeah. that's what happened. Like I got to 16 and I was, I stayed to do me leaving there to now and I was, I was exactly, do you want to stay? Do you want to be like, do you know what? I'll, I'll, have, I'll have another year here and I might go away later. But the thing is, like, like, people like Dawson the boy, maybe they yeah. might go away. You that's know right, I mean? yeah. They to come back. You have a good career here, like, you know what I mean? He's playing here. If he wants to go away, he's a little bit older, you know what I mean? So be it. But, yeah. you know, don't, don't knock him for doing what he wants to do. Doing what he wants to do, you know what But I mean? we should have stuff if for them. To come back here. But well, a couple of years ago, couldn't. Correct. Do you know Correct. what I mean? Yeah. Like, you couldn't, you couldn't come back. We should be able to accommodate taking, bringing our own through or taking them home yeah, or whatever. 100%. Because at the end of the day, like, I, like, I played in Cyprus, man. And, the the money involved over there is crazy, you know what I mean? And it's not yeah. just one of the teams, it's all the teams. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, but they throw it about and it's mad, they isn't it? About, try and get into Europe, they try and um they tr- they've training grounds, everything, they try and do things properly. 
um, in that sense, you know what I mean, build a league over there. And they're not getting 20, 30,000 fans every week. No. Do you know what I mean? But it just needs a little bit of help here, doesn't it? Like, yeah. you know, that's... But see, that's like, wrong, really. see, like, the likes of yourself, say, when you're when bringing it back full circle a little bit, see when you eventually get to play for Ireland and you're in the squads and you're playing and you're getting called up regularly and finally getting to play for Ireland, did you, did you feel... I, said, oh, I hope you felt satisfaction, but I, did you feel proud and that you you proved yeah, your father right yeah, or you proved I, yourself right? I did, yeah. I felt, but, but I was always looking at, I was always looking at the next thing, really. You know what I mean? I was yeah. always, I loved it. I loved it for me, for my mum or yeah. anything, my family, and yeah, and I give them the jerseys after the game. Yeah, I know. That. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I loved it and. It was uh, a special moment, like, you know what I mean? You walk out there and the feeling it gives you, it's like, you can't explain it. Mm. It's crazy, like, you know? But I always, in my own head, thinking, like, you know, like, I, I belong here, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I've worked to get here. Yeah. I've done, and maybe it didn't go the way I planned. Me coming through as a kid, probably at Man City going to Holland at 19, I thought I was going to be in every Ireland team for the rest of my life when I first got called up to that camp. <laughs> I was thinking, feet up, oh, this is brilliant. You know what I mean? I'm playing against Ajax every week, a PSV, you know what I mean? I'm a proper player. <laughs> yeah. And then next thing you know, you don't play for the year and you're like, takes it coming home, and a slap in the face, being in a dark place in, in Scotland, you know? And if it wasn't for my mother and my family and the club here, for like Afa here, for Graham, uh, my brothers. Um, and how dark were you in Scotland? Dark, proper yeah. dark. Like, you know, it was, uh, I was doing everything to get into the team up there. I couldn't get into a team. You know, yeah. top of the lake, I'm at, at the You were toured at the time, yeah. yeah. And um, flying, like, you know, and Steve Clark's great for like, He but, is, yeah. But I was never going to play with him and it just wasn't going to work. And after two months, I knew, I was living in the hotel there and, there was other lady in my house in Manchester. And it's dark six months of the year in Scotland, yeah, isn't it? It's freezing cold. <laughs> yeah. You're not in Glasgow, would it? No. Way, you know what I mean? You're in Kilmarnock. Yeah. Um, and even, even Glasgow's not great. <laughs> no. But, um, you know, uh, my mother came over. She knew something was up. She knew something was up. And, and uh, she said to me, she said, look, she said, you don't have to be here, like, you know? Yeah. And I said, I do, man, I'm a footballer, you know? Yeah. I said, this is my life, like, you know? I said, well, what else do I have? And it wasn't money or anything that was, was that stigma, like, you know, of I'm a footballer, this is what I do, like, I need to do this, I need to do this. I wasn't even a footballer at that stage. Yeah. I was just plodding on, I was just getting through. Getting Did through you feel you were doing it for your name? I think rather I was than doing it for my name, and then I think my name was maybe declining more because I wasn't doing actually anything, you know mm. what I mean? And I had no way of, getting out of that situation in in Kilmarnock, like you know what I mean other than just come come home like you know yeah. it was like just reset come home you know what I mean you, you haven't gambled all your money you've done anything yeah you haven't no. like they haven't like gone off the rails you've just had a bit of bad luck here and you need to reset and that's what I did I just came home and I came back to a club which to be honest, if I was looking at me, and I know people say, oh, you got some player in Jack, or you got some player in Jack when he, when he first came back. They didn't, like, you know what I mean? They got me, they got me about two stone overweight. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Slow, was terrible in pre-season. Was lucky to start the games, was fighting with everyone, couldn't get my head around it. Was a bit embarrassed about being home. Yeah. Playing like that as well. Did you find, a, did you find even going back to Bally Buck, that there was a sense of that as well. I remember first come, I remember getting released, and I remember ringing my brother and saying, yeah. "I've got released here, but don't tell anyone." Yeah. Like I, know, I was yeah. like, "There's no, there was no coming home party. Yeah. There was a like, going away going one." Away one yeah. <laughs> Do you know yeah. what I mean? That type of, oh, that stigma yeah. of feeling that you did that way heavy what? on you as well. Do you or? know what? Not really, for, because from from people outside of, of the club, um, or for people outside of my family, should I say? I never really, never yeah. really cared. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I never really cared. They didn't achieve what, you know, what yeah. what I've done. They haven't been through what I've been through. Do you know what I mean? So they can't comment on, on my situation. I, I decided to do something that made me happy and not yeah. just some fella picking up a paper and saying, Jack Bourne scored for Kilmarnock the weekend, close it back over and go on yeah. with his day. Yeah. You know, so, um, and I was very lucky because when I came home, like, me mates, 
really? Like, you know, yeah. And then me, me, me family are me uncles, like, yeah. all my dad's brothers and all. Like, first game, they're all at the game. Yeah, like, it's different, like, isn't it? Ringing you like, I'm brilliant. Yeah. I'm saying, I was, I was horrendous. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But, but even that day, though, that, isn't it? Love and support, and but they've always been there. Like, yeah. They went, came over to watch Kilmarnock against Celtic when I was never going to get on the pitch for a minute. Yeah. But they're still over, they're still watching the game. You'll meet up, meet up after, have a bit of food. Still the same, you know? Yeah. I remember my brother came to Austria playing against Celtic. <laughs> we lost 5 1, right? We got absolutely tic tac. Like, it was un- like, it's like, and he's trying to be nice to me after the game. He's like, I wouldn't say you play bad, like, but he said, it's like you couldn't get close enough to even play good. And I was like, I know. I was like, like that's, that's the best compliment he gave me. But it was like you couldn't even get close enough to do that and good. And I was like, I know, yeah. Well, it's like, I've, I've had some unbelievable moments. Like, even. And what, what dragged you through the, the tough times? I know you said your family and stuff, but what, like, you obviously, mental resolve and what we're up here talking about that side of it, like, yeah. like that, hard, that's man. big, isn't it? Still a battle, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's not, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't just finish because you got player of the year twice. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, if I have a stinker this year, or if, I, if I have a couple of bad games, like, you know, people start talking again. You have to bat it off again. Yeah, you do, you yeah. You have to go again. It's the same, it's just, football doesn't last forever. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Nothing lasts forever. But you didn't know what that was, did you? No, that was, was <laughs> but, Is that uh, your one game? But football, it doesn't last forever. No. Do you know what I mean? And Who you are as a person does. Who you are, the legacy you, you know? leave and, and the memories that you can take from it, they last. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like playing in Dublin, um, making my debut for Ireland, you know, family flying over to Holland, um, watching me in Amsterdam. Four or five of them not even going to the game, yeah. just staying in, <laughs> staying in Amsterdam, and you're meeting the man. But like, these are the things that you take with you, and you know, the FA Cup final. Do you know what I mean? The joy that I brought to not only me, but like the relief on the manager's face, and yeah. Glenn's face, and Steve McBell. Proper people, like, you know what I mean? Like, good, good blokes. Um, Football people, aren't they? Just they just want people to do well. They want you to do well exactly. for yourself like, as the, well. Like, I was dead and buried, man. Do you know what I mean? Like I was dead and buried coming back here. And, uh, I wouldn't say that now. I, I think was. you think so. Yeah, I was, uh, guys, uh, like I, I wouldn't assign me. Was you know? I wouldn't assign me because because uh, I don't know what you would have got from me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But he got something out of me. And how did he do it? How did Stephen do it? Because again, like, like you know, Steve Stephen was very like you. When I tell you, Stephen was probably one of the best. Kids yeah, yeah. at 14, unbelievable. And I played, we yeah. played together in the same school team, and I was the one that would be like, no one touched, no one yeah. touched them, like, yeah, yeah, go away, yeah. man, you know? And we always had that where, but he was very like you yeah, in that, yeah. and he had a lot of pressure on him going away. Yeah, yeah. And I always said to him, you fell further than me because you rose higher. Yes. And how, it, how you deal with it, it's tough, but what's, you know? But you know, like when you, when, you, when you look back, like, and well, it is falling, like, yeah, and that's a very good like, way of looking at it is, as well. What is it like? You play, you, you played, uh, or you didn't play. You got released from a club, or do you know what I mean? Like, how how bad is that? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? On the grand scheme of things, when I was a kid, I used to look back at it, and I used to think it was the worst thing in the world. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But when I when I'm out of that situation now, and and, and I look back now, I, t- I say to myself, what was I even thinking? Yeah. What I'd been through before compared to what I went through when I was probably 20, 21. Do you know what I mean? It was nothing. Yeah. It was absolutely nothing. But at the time, you at think the it's the worst, yeah. So when you're talking to younger players, or players yeah. coming, like I always try and help and say, listen, it's the worst thing that's happened to you, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. not in a bad way. 100%. But the more you go through it. And then you come and you come home and then you've got your mates and you know, you, you, um, you're going out and, it's, uh, and you're happy. I think uh, when you're over there, Sometimes you might have been chasing something that you want, you thought you wanted that you didn't really want. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and you feel guilty when you're not chasing it as much. Yeah. Whatever. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is, like you know, whatever, whatever anyone yeah. wants, it's, it's uh, sometimes not the, the the thing that gets you up in the morning, is it? Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Whereas if when when I came back here, I had something that was, you know what I mean? Is that why you, you feel you have a special bond with the club because yeah, of that? So, because yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. Uh, the, the FAO, F, FAO Eco final was was special. Yeah, you know I mean? it was brilliant. It was uh, even that group of players and you know the likes of Green and Joey and all them boys and you know like we met some friends our life there. Yeah. You know, and, and, and yeah, as I said, as I said again, they're the things that take with you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. at the end of the day, at thirty one, thirty two, if someone ringing you offering you a two year deal, or are you or are you done now? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, at the end of the day, when they're not, it's all said and Yeah, done. it is. Yeah. And it's, you know, who are you going to ring the offer coffee? Yeah. Or what's next? Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, what do we do now? Am I still welcome back? At, Tala Stadium to say hello to the fans. Do you know what I mean? How do they think of me? Um, so that's what you leave. That that's I think mostly what 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 we've found is what you leave. What what you leave behind. What, what, yeah. What what, 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 what are people gonna talk about? You know, so he's already. Do you know what I mean? The football and all that looks after itself. Really. Yeah. You know. No. I know we can play. Like you know, I know we can play. That was the bit I struggled with. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> know. Oh, you know. oh, I understand. Like that's that's the bit that we're, like I've got. I made lads friends that I've been with from football since the age. Like like you said, the likes of Steve and Shane, even Glenn. I played it for a yeah, while. Yeah. Just become friends that you that's see, it. and and that's it. And yeah. see all the stuff that I've been, I was lucky to be really successful during a small period of the time. That asked them, my man. She's like, do you want to take them? I was like, no. Yeah. She's like, why not? My man, because yeah. I have memories yeah. Yeah. that you don't have. Yeah. So exactly. you ha you can have it all. Yeah. I'll give it to whoever you want. Because yeah. it's memories for me. Yeah, as I say with me, it, like my I love going down to Manchester now. Yeah. And uh, she whips out the folders like from DDSL blade yeah. games from what, fifteen years ago, ten years ago, whatever it is now, like I love looking at them, do you know what I mean? But she she loves it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. She loves seeing me in the paper. And going, yeah. going over, telling me she's like, "Oh, I'm gonna get the paper checks in the paper, yeah. put the paper out, put it in a." In, in a you have a like close relationship with her. Was she yeah. massive in, in helping you? Not not just uh, obviously yeah, getting yeah, over your father's passing and. Yeah, if, she underst she understood me. Yeah. You know, me me mother, she understood it was a bit mad. You know, <coughs> I was like when I was when I was a kid, it was a bit mad. Like I probably would have been, you know, in trouble in school when I was getting the child out of I ended up the Ross Mini, she got me in the Ross Mini. What'd you get thrown out with Joey's for? Do you know what it was? I was missing a lot of time going on trials and they were trying to keep me and then I was yeah. kind of, uh, they were saying you need to be in skill more and then I was saying, well look, listen, obviously not going to be, you know what I mean? And then you have arguments and teachers, they just stems from that really. Yeah. Like, when I went to Ross Mini, they, they loved having me there because they thought we were a kid here who was going to yeah. Man City. So, uh, yeah, that was a. Uh, but she's, she was unbelievable to me when I was when I was growing up. Just give me support and just give me. She gave me the freedom to be yourself. Do what I wanted to do, you know what I mean? And and um, like if if we had have came back from Man City after a week, you know she wouldn't have cared. Yeah. You know she wouldn't have cared. Like she didn't push me at all. Didn't you know? Yeah. But she knew it was good for me, so she'd lean me in that direction, but she would never, and she'd be there for support if we need her, and, you know, if we were struggling over there. Um, like, all, all mothers really, isn't it? Like, yeah. And what do you do now to, to help you clear, like, a mountain? Obviously, you're walking up here, and we clear the head and stuff like that, and you see what it's like up here, you see why people come up here on a day like today, like, it's unbelievable. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Up There's Tallis Stadiums down there. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, so you see it there, like, but you'll be in or out there somewhere. Yeah, they, that rings in there, is that that? Like That's that? the things there, yeah. It rings in, does it, I think. So what would you do now, like, what would you do to help that, that you Me. don't have them dark days again? Go playing golf. Do you? Yeah, it's great, I love playing golf. I love getting out and playing golf. Didn't, now, this is, the, this is the bit that I always laugh <laughs> at, right? I remember teeing up one day with my old man, I brought him for a game of golf on <laughs> a nice golf course, right? And he starts smiling and he stepped away and I says, What are you doing? And he says, Never thought I'd ever play golf here. From Bally, I look, you know, from Bally, Bally Fame. <laughs> and it was that moment that he was like, How did this happen? Yeah. You know? And you forget, like, because where we grew up, yeah, it was yeah. like, This, this yeah. wasn't a, okay. this wasn't doable for him. Yeah. Is that what you, you feel? I feel that even yeah. playing golf sometimes. Like, but like, you see, like, I, like my, my ma or me or my family said, See, when you walk into a 
football stadium and you think like you know, I'm always playing PSV or AM yeah. or whatever my yeah. family were working out there how, how like how good is this like how has yeah. this happened do you know what I mean yeah. and it's kind of similar like yeah. they're the things that you remember yeah. and take with you and even myself like and you know what it's like you just in the shower bang boots yeah. off do you know what I mean? And you think, oh, it's the same again next week. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But it's not like, no. sometimes you are in Finn Harps away. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. it's like, it's a different kettle of fish. I don't do so away. I think now, like, <laughs> trying to enjoy that a bit more and, you know, that feeling of, of just, you know, just doing, doing things that you think in the moment. I'm actually, do you know, I'm, I'm already here. I'm enjoying this. Like, this is, this yeah. is cool. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm lucky because I think you can, you can take a lot of stuff for granted. The goal's quick. Especially with like, of COVID and stuff like that happening recently and you know all that. How yeah. did you find that then? Because you were over you were were you over in were you over in, in Greece in, at the time? Cyprus, um, Oh Cyprus, sorry. Yeah, so I was there for that was happening. me my girlfriend was trying to come over and she couldn't come over because it was in lockdown over in the country. Yeah. Um and my mother couldn't come over um, for seven, eight months. And the back injury so, then is um, obviously. I obviously got injured and yeah. Me and COVID and I was lying on my back for two weeks. I couldn't move my spine. You know what I mean? Basically. So, yeah. Um. It's not easy. That like, was that tough then. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough that probably wasn't me. tougher than Kamarnik though. No, it wasn't. Because no, that's because, the difference. Because yeah, you've gone I through was, that to go. I was all right, like you yeah. know what I mean. It was hard. I wanted to get back playing, but like I was playing for two years or, or, or a year. Here with, with with the injury, yeah. So it just caught up on me. We couldn't get Euro. We weren't gonna win the league, um, and the club, you know, came to us and we, we, we said, look, we'll 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 get the we'll get the up and come back for free season, and it obviously just went the way it went. Yeah. Um, but um, it's not easy when you're injured. But to be fair, my girlfriend was great. She flew her over and I got the operation. I think three days later and. and uh, if it wasn't for her, I was probably sitting there with a bottle of red wine in front of the telly thing of what we're doing here. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. But like you said, but that but I think people forget how much of a support network you need. Like, yeah. But then, listen, works both ways. Like if, if they ever go through something, you're the one that's there for them. That's that's the way yeah. it works both ways. It's not and a one-way yeah, relationship. It, like. like, And I was lucky, like, you know what I mean? I was, I'd, ne- I'd never been injured up until that. You know, it was a three-month injury. I had to get an operation, like how many operations the footballers have to get probably oh, four or five uh, each, yeah. you know, and um, like I was lucky up until that, and I was and I was lucky I, I, I actually got my medical done and Mick was there, yeah. you know, or you failed me, I basically failed me medical when I went there, and they wanted to sign me, they knew I had the issue, um, they knew it would be sorted after an operation, it was only a three month break, yeah. so they were uh, willing to do that, willing to do it, like you know. Um, which at the time then I'm thinking this is great because they're showing great faith in me here like, yeah. you know what I mean there's really a two, two and a half year deal showing great plan sometimes it just doesn't work like that you know what I mean you just have to crack on but I was unfortunate but I was fortunate you know yeah. what I mean like Mick could have been sacked the two days before they got over there yeah and then yeah left thinking well, what do I get what do I do now like yeah. you know what I mean but also like to me the to me, listening to you here, like, and obviously I knew you before, and we have we had a few chats before, but listening to you here, the scary bit for me is that you're actually just gonna go and enjoy it and live in the moment. Where I always thought you played like that, and anyway, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm sort of going, well, it's gonna be yeah. like it's gonna be scary. Some of the stuff, yeah. you know what I mean? That is that what you're aiming to do? Oh, then, so like, you know, like, you know, we, 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 we need games, don't we? Yeah. Back to the level that I was at before, but look, I'm fitter, I'm stronger, I'm in a better place. Done. I felt that with the drop of the game, you'd had yeah. you'd, by the time the drop of the game, I thought his awareness is back, yeah, and that's the bit. That's it. Like, and you know, look, you can't just, you know, it's like football, you can't just turn the switch no. and it just comes back on straight away. Of course, I can still do what, like, a, a 40 year old bloke can go out and play, and you know what I mean, can still see past and still do things. And, yeah. But, um, you know, you have to do it 90 minutes week on week, and you have to be mobile and fit. And, mentally ready to go and I think I am like you yeah. know what I mean I just think it's getting sharpness back and um and look you're not gonna play well every week you, no. you know what I mean I speak to when I speak to Graham one of the things he always said is if you can play well you can't promise you're gonna play well every week yeah he said well you know you can't promise that you'll you'll walk hard and you'll try yeah you know that's I mean? the thing and yeah that's it like 
and maybe I didn't when I was younger maybe I didn't do that as much I think I do it more now like you know what I mean the odd days you still have your off days but I think I'm more the way I look at it and because I do a lot of the commentary on the games I look and see like you're more involved in the team now yeah. that you want to, you want them like if we're going to win I have to play well but yeah. you know what if we're going to win and I'm not playing well yeah. I have to walk yeah. That's the bit and where, I, and, and 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 that's what I think I added to me game. Yeah, here. that's the biggest I think, thing. I think that's what I, I I definitely added to me game, and it's not like it's not that I don't want it to be the Jack Moore. No, do you know what I mean? I don't want it to be Jack Moore, Jack Moore, Jack Moore, Jack Moore. Of course, I want to score goals, I want to get assists, and I want, do you know what I mean? But at the same time, we want Borges scoring thirty goals. Yeah, yeah. I want Danny scoring 25 goals yeah. I want Green I get 12 yeah. 14 goals do you want Lions to settle and do well like. but there's no chance no, agree. <laughs> no <laughs> chance though he'll be up next we'll slaughter him oh, well, uh, but do you know what I mean like, that's like that's what we want because like, at the end of the day you might get one last minute winner in Europe you might come up with a piece of brilliance or a great goal or do you know what I mean a piece of magic but then to do that the week after the week after third round fourth no. round do you know no. what I mean? Like to get to the group stages, it's not just. Can't and by the way, this is this is the bit I always say, right? Because I I was the other side of it. So I go see your bit of magic that made us win one nil. Yeah, yeah. That clean sheet, 100%. done it as well. 100%. But you've you've helped that as well because yeah. you gave us something to hold on to. Yeah. So it works. That's a team, and that's where the, when I, the observation I've had is that that team orient orientate because I watched you play as a kid with Ireland, yeah. and I was a bit like, yeah. this is going to be Jack Show. And then now in that yeah. maturity is that. It's like you're more invested in the team and the group, and you want the club to do well. Then you know. And less, probably less for yourself. Like, you yeah. Know what I mean? And probably less opportunities for you know myself to make headlines or whatever. But to be honest, it doesn't. You've know made enough. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> You've made enough at this stage. <laughs> I know we can help when I when I when I, yeah. when I need to help most, but there's I, I know probably the biggest part, the biggest job for me this year is. It's not about me doing well or it's not about me. I'll take a forty percent, you know what I mean, goal return than I had when I was here before. Of course I want more, but I'll take forty percent less goals and assists than what I had before if we get a league, a cup in Europe. Yeah. Like exactly, and, I, yeah. and the team is better. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you have to like, that's to like, sacrifice like, yourself for the this. team, yeah. All right, um, listen. Great, thanks for having, thanks for, thanks for coming up and being so candid and honest with it, it was brilliant, but I hope you enjoyed it, really good, alright, glad you're looking forward to watching it again, alright, cheers bud, alright.